Hey, this is Drive Safe Dave here out here at the Trucking Jammery. I'm here with Tim Fight in front of his beautiful truck here that celebrates and recognizes the U.S. military. Hey, Tim, tell us a little bit about this truck. Um, I decided to do a tribute truck for the, the military, and uh, I just started throwing things around a little bit, and I came up with this idea, so I went to Flint, Michigan and picked up a donor truck. A Mac? Uh, no, uh, uh, a Dodge, Dodge, Dodge one-ton chassis cab truck from Flint, Michigan. Drove it home in January with no heat. Right. And then I stripped it all down, sold the cab and everything for 2000 and I got $1,000 into the running gear. And then it's a, this is a Mac RB model Mac. that I got out of a junkyard for 1100 bucks. There you go. And then the tires are from South Dakota. Everything, 90% of this truck is all junkyard stuff. Which is which is good stuff. Yes, this is a super, super rat rod. <laughs> it's good stuff. You know what? Um, let me just tell you, number one, it, it, is a, it is an eye catcher out here. And as we're out here talking about it, and we're talking about this truck, this truck has actually made national news, hasn't it? Yes. Why don't you tell us about that? Um, this truck here is uh, the governor of Minnesota was actually driving down the freeway and pulled up next to me and was waving his hand and you know, showing thumbs up, you know, over this truck. And this truck is, uh, we've been to Fort Carson with it. We've been to Vegas with it. We've been to, uh, we go to all military bases. Right, I got you. Uh, to honor the troops. We even go to Navy, Air Force bases. Um, and we, we stay on the Air Force bases and the Navy bases and the Army bases. We just went to Daytona for the turkey run and uh, the truck, they did a magazine shoot on it. Which which magazine? Magazine is uh, Diesel World Magazine. So you can get you can get that you can get that and you can read all about what you do and, and a little bit more in detail about the truck, right? Yes, it's an August edition. Uh, it's got a blue truck on the on the front cover, but it's got the centerfold of my truck in there. Let me tell you, it's got some pretty cool stuff back here. Let's walk back here on this uh, fifth wheel. You got this flagpole. I want to make sure everybody sees this. Not only does it have the stars and bars on it, but it's also got the POW and MIA flag. Yes, uh, my father-in-law got me the steel and stuff, and I went and got a kingpin from uh, Blaine Brothers in Minnesota and I welded it up, and that's the flagpole that's at my front door 365 days a year if I don't have it on my truck. Oh, okay, good, so I got it, you. So it goes up to 30 feet. So you can telescope it up even higher than higher what Higher than what it is. Yeah, are you running down the road with it like this? No, we lower it down to the to the point right there where they double stack, uh -huh. and uh, it's about 12 foot six. Do you pull the flags off of it before you pull no, it? No, I leave the uh, one flag on it, the American flag. Okay, good. Nice. Yes. And um, you've had nothing, but I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna bet you, I, I bet you've had nothing but great response from the American public and truckers out there looking at this vehicle. Oh yeah, they, they love it. Um, my, always by, I judge my work by smiles. When people look at it and go, you're sick. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, yeah. And the, the kids love it, and I, I've had kids in wheelchairs sit inside it and stuff like that. But when they walk around the back and they read the license plate, that's when they start laughing. Yeah, you know what? It, it's it's a great tribute vehicle. It, it's fantastic. All right, what are your plans coming up in the near future? I know you're doing the trucking jamboree right now. So are you headed anywhere in the near future? Uh, we're going to uh, another truck show. This one here, the uh, the big classic in uh, by Rochester, Minnesota. Right. We're going there September 10th or 11th or something like that. Uh, we got a big show there. So what's driving you to do this? I mean, I get the beautiful truck. I get you turned this this junk into a work of art, right? Yep. Basically, yep. right? Without oh, yeah. You turned it into a work of art. What drives you to want to do this for the military? What drives you? What's well, that? Uh, I, it's you know it's a big honor being in the except being accepted into the military right and the military family if most of the time people don't understand about being in the military the military they take you in like a family 
Right. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're a Marine or Navy or anybody. They hold a little bit of grudges, but it's no pick, no touch, don't mess with them. We can, we can, we oh, can, yeah. we can mess with each other. I know, but but don't mess with them outside yeah. the military, yeah. right? I used to haul Persian two missiles, nuclear weapons. Right, I got you. Uh, I used to be in field artillery. I was. By the way, he's, that means he's truck driving for the military. Yeah. I want you to know that. What's that MOS? Uh, 64 Charlie. 64 Charlie, that's a truck driving MOS out there. Just so oh, yeah. y'all know what we're talking about. Oh yeah, um, I started, I went into service two days after I turned 17. There you go. Um, I had my mom and dad sign for me. Both there of you. them were divorced and they were sitting at the table and they were. Yeah, you're out of here. Yeah, they, wanted, yeah. <laughs> you're out of here. they were divorced so they didn't want to be in the kitchen too long together. They just signed the paperwork and out the door I went. Nice. So. Uh, First duty assignment, Korea. Nice. Uh, Fort Carson, field artillery, then went to Persian Missiles, 56 Field Artillery Brigade in uh, Germany. Nice. And then I went to the Where in Germany was that? Wait a minute, where was that in? Is that in, uh, that's? Swedish Gamun, Germany. Swedish Gamun, Germany. Yeah, which is south of Stuttgart. Okay, I got you. And then uh, uh, we supplied, I was in service battery, so we supplied both nuclear companies in New Ulm and Heilbronn. Well, I'll tell you what, number one, I want to first thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, number two, I want to thank you for the opportunity to check this vehicle out. Because yeah. this is a, this, first of all, I, my wife, I'm just going to be honest, my wife wouldn't ride this with me. I mean, I don't think she would. I mean, but, but, but I love this truck. This truck is a beauty. Okay, the, the seats inside, yep. all my cars have had aluminum bomber seats. Uh-huh. These are heated and air conditioned. Oh, there! Seat. Now you're talking. Gen now. genuine leather swivel, and they uh, they're eight way adjustable. Now she's in. She's in. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Now she's in. I now. bought them just for that lady there. Oh, your wife. Yes. Do you let your wife drive your truck? She won't drive a stick. She doesn't know how to drive a stick. Oh, okay. But it's still a beautiful truck. Well, thank man, you. Man, I, I tell you what. It. I hope did you. Um, out here at the Jamboree, man, I, I, I look forward for you at the next truck show, yes. the, uh, the Big Iron Classic next yep. week in Minnesota, I mean next month in Minnesota. Yep. But while we're here, I hope you get a lot of thank yous, I hope you get a lot of smiles, and I hope you get a, a great understanding of our appreciation for what you're doing out there uh, in the United States. I judge all my work by smiles. There you go, I like it. All right, hey, everybody, you get an opportunity, you're out here at the Jamboree. Make sure you jump right, right, walk by Mr. Fight's truck here and check out this. Salute the flag, look at the truck, and you know what? Give him a big old smile because that's how he judges his work, man. We got it going on. All right, oh, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you.